Hey, what's up, fam? It's Modern Day Caveman coming at you again. Wow. So, um, as you can see, like I, I, I'm bright. <laughs> I went and got a, a couple of little accessories to help make this seem more professional. Um, I still have yet to buy a microphone, but I did buy a light, and I, and I, and God, it is bright. <laughs> it's super bright. I feel like my face is all shiny. Uh, but it's it's bright, man. It was a good investment, and because I couldn't really record at night in my room or in my you know in my in my apartment because I didn't have adequate lighting, and I don't know, I don't even know what's what the the wattage of bulbs that I should be buying. I thought sixty watts was good, and it turns out it's not. So I got like soft lighting in here. Then I went to Walmart. <sighs> Walmart is a trip. I went to Walmart to try to buy the little corkscrew lights, like the little spiral lights, and I couldn't find it, them. And so I was like, all right. like so. But anyways, I ended up buying this um, ring light, and it is super bright. It is super bright, but it's doing its job, man. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And so I'm good with that. So yesterday, I went to the funeral after I told you guys I was going about, that I was nervous about going to, and uh, I have to say that it turned out to be pretty good, man. I know that's crazy to say that, you know, I had a good time at the funeral. I, I, well, I, I had a good time at the funeral. It was, it was, the service was great, but I got a chance to, to, to kick it with my cousins, like my first cousins. I haven't seen them since, it's been... My one cousin, I probably it might have been 25, 30 years since I seen her. She was a little girl. She is absolutely beautiful now, like model type beautiful. I was like, wow. And she's a, a nurse practitioner. She's I was I was just blown away by her beauty, and she I was just blown away. Like really, I couldn't believe how she grew up. Like she grew up into a, a beautiful young woman. But and my, my cuz, man, my other cuz, but we, we like it just I was just reminiscing, but the my aunties, man, my dad's sisters, like they they loved me, man. And I felt nothing but love and, and I, I just like I can't wait to see him again. So it was a good time when we all went out to dinner afterwards and uh I got a chance to, to buy my mom dinner, man. I paid for my mom's dinner and it felt it felt so good like it really felt good to be able to pay for my mother's dinner man so I, I was good like I felt good like I had a good time like I really really had a good time so it's all love man you know God continues to bless me every day so he just blesses me and blesses me and blesses me and all these you know like I'm telling you God is a God of restoration you, all those bridges that I thought was burned or exploded, he's he's mended everything and like every relationship that I thought was damaged, he's mending them all. And 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 I'm telling you, God is good. God is good. He's he's restored my life. Like literally, I feel kind of like Job. You know, like he took everything from me and, and he gave me back a hundredfold. So we got finished with that. And so my friend, after we got finished with the, with the funeral and the dinner. My friend asked me to. Uh, we, we asked me if I wanted to go somewhere, and I was like, "Sure, I got the day off, you know. Might as well go do something." So we went to the Flats in Cleveland, and now I can tell, like, the Flats in Cleveland is a spot that you're supposed to go to at night. I can tell because it's like a happening little spot at night. We went kind of like in the middle of the day, not not really in the middle of the day, but early evening, right? And 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 it was like it was cool it, it was just it just wasn't really bustling like it could like it should have been a lot of the establishments were closed but and it was a tuesday night so you know it was kind of it was kind of it wasn't a bust but one of the things like i had this scooter right they had these little scooters parked everywhere you could rent these little scooters for a dollar you know and i was like shoot i'm gonna get on one of these scooters like i was like it's a little motorized electric scooter battery powered scooter so I, you know, I I got the scooter. I download the little spin app that you gotta get, upload my credit information. It's like a, you know, it's, it's a credit card. So I, it's only a dollar. So I was like, yeah, it's cool. And I, I figured that, you know, I, and plus I just seen this group of girls just zoom past us 
on them. I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely got to get one of these. So I get the scooter, I download the app, and you know, it start up. I get on it, I take my little ride. I'm like, oh, I do a little ride, a little ride around the ring, and then I, I stop and I tell my friend, I say, here, get on. And she was like, no, I don't want to. Do I was like, come on, get on the scooter, just go. It's real easy. She was like, I'm gonna fall and bust my butt. I'm like, no. So she gets on and she's trying to go. And it won't go. I'm like, no, you got to push the throttle down. And so she's like, it's not. I'm pushing. I'm like, okay, like, you got to push the throttle down. And she was like, I'm pushing it. So I like, I get on it and I'm like, I'm pushing the throttle down and it won't go. And I'm like, what the heck? I, you know, it won't go. Then it beeps and tells me that I need to turn around, that I'm out of this zone or something. And I'm like, what? So I'm trying to, it's telling me that I'm out of this zone. So I look at the map that they got on my phone because it's the app tells me where I'm at on the phone the little map and I see that I'm in some kind of little red zone and I'm like wait a minute so I try to end the ride because it's got a button on it that says end the ride so I'm trying to end the ride and it won't end the ride and the clock is still ticking and I'm like wait a minute so I'm like tripping because it's got my, my this got my credit card information and this already gave you a disclaimer that says if you do something wrong that they're going to charge you and I'm like oh, wait a minute wait a minute so I'm trying to get this I'm trying to end the ride it won't let me end the ride I'm trying to get into the area because I can see like I'm right on the edge of the area that I need to get out of to be out of the red zone but I can't get there because where it's telling me to go is like a body of water I can't get so it's like a, the Ohio River and it's telling me to go I got to go that direction and then the other direction is a building then it's a bridge that's going over top of the water, and they telling me that I need to get, I guess I need to get on that bridge and go across. And I was like, man, this is out of control. So I'm like, man, I'm panicking. I'm, I'm like panicking because they got my credit card information. So I like, I, I, we was at this place, and I asked the waitress, like, hey, you ever had this problem before? And she was like, no. And then my, my friend, she was like, just call a number on the bike. And I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm trying to process this information and then finally the the wait the waitress comes out and she was like just call the number on the bike so I ended up calling the number on the bike and like right away somebody answered and I told him what the situation was and he was like oh okay I'll stop you right right now because I had to read the number on the bike and so I on the on the scooter so I, I gave him the number and he's like okay I got you he said I just killed I just stopped the ride and I refunded your money and I said so why would they you know I said why am I, am I in a restricted zone? He was like, yeah. And I said, so why are these all parked right here? And I said, it's about four. I'm seeing about four of them. It let me start it, so why wouldn't it let me end it? And he was like, I don't know. I said, I said, well, you got about four of these things in this zone, you know, that people are going to have a problem with. And he, I said, you need to probably send somebody to come pick them up. And he was like, yeah, I will. So, but while I was riding this bike, this little scooter. My friend, she was at the other end of the street, and she was like, come here. And I was like, what's going on? And she was, I'm trying to, like, I ain't really focused on it. She's just standing there because she's by herself. And I'm like, I'm trying to get this money back, right? I want my, my money, right? And, she, and so when I finally get, like, when I finally realize what's going on, this is before I even get called the, the, uh, the, 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 the representative. She's standing there, and she's like, I can see she's agitated. So when I go over to her, I'm like, what's up? And she was like, that guy is over there approaching me. He just approached me. And I'm like, I look, there's this black guy. He's running around, and I can see in his face that he's drunk. And I'm like, oh, God. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, all right. So he's, he's kind of belligerent, and, and I can see he's being aggressive. And I'm like, oh, here we go. I don't, like, I don't even know what to do because I don't want to. You know, I'm 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 a, I'm a citizen now. I can't be responding with violence, but I gotta protect my friend. So, uh, you know, I look at him and I see, I, I make eye contact with him and let him know that I'm like, okay, like she's with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he kind of like senses that it's a problem, and he, I think maybe I don't know. And he, he he says something foul out of his mouth and I was like whatever dude and we just turned around and walked away so we like we go back and we sit at the bar and so we're sitting outside and then he goes and harasses this other group of people and I was like wait a minute you know I'm like I'm not a criminal I'm I'm a tax paying citizen I'm a law abiding citizen and I got the right to call the police if I feel like somebody's harassing me so I was like I'm gonna call the police and I said, and I dialed 911 and I told the police what's happening. 
and and they sent somebody down, and, and the police come, and they asked me. I said, I called you, and they was like, what's going on? And I tell them. And then the girls that he had harassed, he had actually touched one of them and called her all out her name and stuff. And uh, they ended up going to get him, and the waitress came back and was like, I'm, thank you for calling the police. And I was like, yeah, I felt good about calling the police. Now, you know that in prison and, and in the street life, they tell you, just like, you know, don't call the police, stop snitching and that whole movement. But, you know, I believe in the police, man. I believe that the police have a job to do. And I, I can't be mad at them for doing what they do. I, I love the police, man. I, you know, my uncle is law enforcement. And we need the police. Why are you playing? Like, we need the police. You, can they talking about, you know, we don't need the police. But I felt good, man. Like, the police came to protect and serve. And, and that's what they did. They came and protected my, my friend. And they get, served my need. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm good with the police. So... Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Remember, God loves you, so do I. Peace. One love.